This is a one-shot solution of ISC Semester 2 Examination Literature in English. Section A. Question 1. Number 1. Just before his conversation with Ariel, what did Prospero tell Ferdinand to do? The right answer is to rest in Prospero's cell. It's option C. Whom does Prospero refer to as varlets? It's easy, Stefano, Trinculo and Caliban. The right answer is option B. Question number three. What does Ariel's statement, I feared lest I might anger thee, tell you about Ariel's attitude towards Prospero? The right answer is option A. He is in awe of Prospero. Now, some of you had doubts regarding this. Prospero is the master and Ariel is the slave, the servant. The relationship is that of a master and a servant. Therefore, Ariel respects Prospero. He fears Prospero. What is the meaning of awe? A feeling of reverential respect filled with fear or wonder. Therefore, the right answer is he is in awe of Prospero. And look at the language used. I feared lest I might anger thee. T-H-E-E, -E, a formal language. Yes, he loves Prospero, but the most appropriate response is option A. The next one, B. It's from the sound machine. What does Klausner ask the lady to do, Mrs. Saunders to do? Cut another rose. Option C. Why does Klausner make this request to the lady? He wanted to hear the shriek of the plant as she made the cut. Option D is the right answer. What was the lady's opinion of Klausner? She found him peculiar. Option C. This is from the text itself. We are the music makers. Whom does the poet term movers and shakers? The right answer is poets. Option D. Which places do these people frequent? Option A is the right answer. Sea breakers and streams. Now my dear students, I will be solving section B 32 marks on your request. 8 questions. 8 into 4 is equal to 32. You all have the question papers with you. Just check if you have mentioned these points. But before that, let me tell you, don't panic if you haven't mentioned one or two points here and there because English literature is subjective. What was the length of your answers? I'm curious to know that. Coming back to question number one, it's from The Tempest, Act 4, what Prospero tells Ferdinand about the impermanence of everything in the world. We had practiced this while preparing for the exams. So, you will have to mention, those who participated in the mask were all spirits. They have now melted into thin air after the sudden termination of mask. Mask was the baseless fabric of vision or an immaterial vision. Everything will one day melt away. And then you are supposed to mention what do you mean by everything. The lofty towers, the splendid mansions, the sacred temples, the huge planet, all inhabitants living in the planet. Not ev they do not even leave a floating vapor behind. They fade like the shadowy spectacle and the shadowy spectacle is the mask. And then you will also have to mention about the human beings. Human beings. Life unreal as dreams. Human beings are short life, ends in death, is rounded off with sleep. What is sleep? Eternal sleep. That is death. All these things highlight the transitoriness of impermanence of everything in the world. This is how your answer must look like. I have highlighted just the points in order to give you a rough framework of the answer. I hope that you have mentioned most of the points in this answer. If you haven't, don't worry. The most important thing is that you have finished your paper. Now moving on to question number 2, Act 5, The Tempest. 
what Ariel says about the condition of Alonso and his companions as they are trapped in the lime grove beyond Prospero's cell and what is the effect of this description on Prospero. Again, I hope you have changed the paragraph. The first part of the question, Alonso and his companions are confined together. This is the description of what Ariel says to Prospero. Exactly in the same condition in which they had left them. They are all prisoners in the grove of lime trees. They cannot move from there till Prospero releases them. I have mentioned everything from the text. So if you have mention everything from the text you will get good marks they are in a state bordering on madness you may quote distracted and who are distracted the three sinners alonso sebastian and who else it's antonio they are grieving and the others are grieving over their condition they are full of sorrow and disappointment you will have to refer to gonzalo Feeling most miserable, tears are flowing down his beard like melting icicles. And their condition is so pitiable that Prospero will feel sympathetic towards them. Ariel is already filled with sympathy for them. So this is what Ariel says to Prospero about the sinners and the other people. And the next part of the question, what is the effect of this description on Prospero? Here, change paragraph, Ariel is a spirit, he is feeling sympathetic, therefore Prospero too feels sympathetic and he decides to forgive, give up desires for vengeance. Remember the quotation, rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance. Quickly moving on to question 3 from the singing lesson. The meeting between Miss Watt, the headmistress and Miss Meadows. The first part of the question, the purpose of the meeting. Miss Watt says she has a telegram for Miss Meadows. Telegram from Basil. And she called Miss Meadows to hand over the telegram to her. This is the purpose why she called Miss Meadows to her office finished and now focus on the second part of the question transition of Miss Meadows mood as well as behavior you will have to refer to her mood as well as what she does after the change of mood there are two parts change the paragraph Miss Meadows returns to the music classroom on the wings of hope, of love, of joy. She is no longer filled with despair. This is her mood, how her mood changed. And then her behavior. What did she do? Let's see. Picked up the yellow chrysanthemum, held it to her lips to hide her smile. And then she also assigns the girls a different song, this time a happy song in the place of a lament. The girls begin to sing. She stops them saying they should sound more warm, joyful, eager. Previously, they were supposed to sing a lament without any expression. She sings with them with her voices over all of them, full deep glowing with expression. This is how her behavior changes. This is the transition from despair to joy. My dear students, I hope once again that you have written these points. Some of you had difficulty in writing all the points. Even if you mention two or three points, no problem, you will get marks. There was a time limitation and I am sure all of you have done really well. Is your reaction to Miss Meadows in the short story, The Singing Lesson, one of irritation or empathy? And then you will have to give reasons with close reference to the text based on the story to support your viewpoint. Reaction to Miss Meadows clearly mentioned that in the introduction, empathy, not irritation. Again, this is subjective. If you have written irritation, then I think that you have justified your answer with appropriate and relevant reasons. My answer is empathy and I will now justify my 
viewpoint. Miss Meadows is a product of the times. She is 30 years old, still unmarried, engagement broken off, perhaps will never get a good marriage proposal again. We had discussed this in one of our sessions. She is a self-conscious character, worried about what people might think would have to disappear somewhere. So these situations in her life make me feel empathetic towards her. Basil, her relationship, Basil was indifferent to her and it was a marriage based on convenience rather than romantic pursuit. Again a reason for my empathy. She is finding it hard to deal with her emotions, people, life in general. The overall condition of her life is not that good. She is struggling to hide her feelings, hugging the knife of her agony. These are some of the reasons why I feel that I must support Miss Meadows. Now moving on to question number four. Give at least four examples from the sound machine to prove that Klausner is an unusual person. Eccentricity of Klausner. Remember, this was a new word introduced to you yesterday. Klausner preoccupied with the sound machine in the makeshift laboratory, speaking softly to himself, nodding his head, smiling sometimes. Now, dear students, my language, my use of language is different. Your use of language perhaps was different. No matter what, if you have touched upon these points, you will get marks. He likes sound and his theory of sound. His obsession to prove it, you may highlight this and he is so engrossed in working on the sound machine that he is startled by Dr. Scott. His absent mindedness, the hat still on his head, all these actions and situations show that he is perhaps quite unusual and then he asks Miss Saunders to cut just one more rose all of a sudden suddenly and then he tells Mrs. Saunders how he heard the cry of pain each time she cut one rose stem. He also calls Dr. Scott at half past six in the morning despite not being ill he is frantic and there is almost hysterical note in his voice. And then you may also cite the example of Dr. Scott and Klausner in the park. How he tells Dr. Scott to listen to the sounds. And then his insistence on putting iodine on the wound. I have mentioned a few examples. You may choose any four. And if you have written anything else, that will also do. Next, B. Wordsworth. This is easy, the story of the boy poet and the girl poet. A boy and a girl meet each other, they fall in love and then they are both poets. They got married, girl loved grass, flowers and trees, nature. Girl was expecting a child, the girl dies, child remains unborn. Girl's husband, very sad, never touched a thing in the girl's garden. Garden remained, grew high and wild. This is a story told by B. Wordsworth to justify his unkempt garden. And then I understood his story. I hope you had watched a video on the character sketch of the boy. You may mention these points in order to evaluate his character. The narrator's understanding, nature, his keen observation, he observes how B. Wordsworth seemed to grow older, studied his body language. Again, this shows a deep connection at the emotional level, despite the difference in age. Boy still young yet mature. These are the points which will give you a complete answer. The next one, Dover Beach, Sea of Faith in the past will have to change paragraphs. If you have not changed your paragraphs, now don't panic. Nothing will happen. What is done cannot be undone. See, your faith in the past offered spiritual security to humans. Protect 
The sea of faith usually protects us and imparts a feeling of solidarity. All this, all these points were discussed in our sessions. Therefore, I used to tell you to learn new words. And if you have mentioned these words, you will get marks. And now, what has happened now? Sea of faith has receded. Faith in religion is shaken. A few features of Victorian age, Darwinism, material prosperity may be mentioned. It's not a big deal if you have not mentioned a few features of Victorian age. You will have to write, Sea of faith has receded. Faith in religion is shaken. And what is the impact of this? The third part. Humanity is bare and suffering from existential worry, chaos, doubt, anxiety, moral and cultural bankruptcy. The world is a darkling plain. There is purposelessness, ignorance. The world is a naked shingled beach, barrenness pervading human civilization. See, this is so easy. Everything was discussed in our classes. The last one, we are the music makers, the special place to the music makers. You will have to highlight the role played by the music makers, the artists in society. Who are the music makers? You need to mention this, poets, musicians, in fact all artists. Special place, highlight theme of active role of artists in society, prove that with the help of examples. They shake the world to its foundations, construct world's great cities with awe-inspiring immortal songs, create glories of empires. They can overthrow a monarch, overthrow a whole kingdom. This is basically a summary of the poem. Highlight the term visionaries, dreamers of dreams, therefore movers and shakers. They, with their revolutionary ideas, shake people out of complacency and their works of art are timeless and eternal. This is why, according to the poet O'Shaughnessy, these artists, these music makers have such a special place in the lives of humans. My dear students, don't worry, you have already finished this paper. This was a video on request so as to remove any doubt from your minds. Don't think about English literature anymore. Focus on your other examinations.